Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Let's start the free video tutorial series for Creo Parametric 3.0. If you do really like my videos and want to learn further, please make sure to like the videos and subscribe the channel. This will really help me to encourage myself to make more and more new videos and upload them regularly to the channel. So let's get started for this video. Uh, we will learn in this video is a uh, basic sketching and modeling. So I will start with a uh, working directory check. We already learned that the working directory can be set as default at our desired location. So it's already set for the D drive for in my computer and uh, the file i'm going to use today as a crankshop.prt that is also available to you guys in the down below description box so do practice for that and let's get started so just put you that file downloaded uh, crankshop.prt in your working directory and then open from the open folder from here you will find with this sketch in your layout by pressing middle scroll button you will you can navigate through the orientation of the sketch and pressing ctrl d you will be at your default location of orientation that can also be browsed from here and the default orient default orientation or the standard orientation now we are going to make a cranks up from this before learning to that I would like to show from where we can draw sketch like this in the location basically this is available over here pressing the sketch button you will be navigating to the plane uh, sketch box here you are about to select the plane in, wh in which you want to draw the sketch select this select the plane simply by clicking on it or by clicking on from the right navigation window one more thing to mark over here is uh, this thing shows a uh, sketch uh, this thing shows the uh, datums and uh, axis on we can turn on and off these features from here like if I click this axis display it will show axis point display will show points and coding systems is over here and this is for the plane so this can be turned on and off as per requirement now clicking on the sketch will bring us to the sketch layout now sometimes it, it doesn't uh, align to the sketching plan so to get normal to the sketching plan orientation we can click over this button sketch view or we can also go through the plane if we know where we are drawing so we can click a front plane which was a sketching plan and then or otherwise we can also click this button will orient to the normal direction of the sketching plan now in the sketch palette we got plenty of the options here we have a line rectangle circle arc ellipse spline fillet chamfer and these are offset tools so let's get started quickly for this we have already this sketch over here so i will show you how to draw over it uh, to take a reference of the previous sketch we can click over here as a references after clicking on that you will bring to this window well after that what once this is a highlighted uh, arrow you can select the entity which you want to use as a reference suppose i will uh, use almost all the lines of the sketches as a reference now solve Clicking solve will place the references and middle scroll will close this reference box or this close button can also do the work. Now clicking on the any of the 
sketch entity will bring the that command on and as you can see the cursor is having a cross arrow over there so uh, clicking on once will start the command and uh, clicking once again left clicking will end the command now you can see it's uh, still in continuation of the command now to end up that command you can click over here or either you can click once click second and after that to end up that command you can click middle scroll button to end up that like this okay so this is how we have drawn this line we can use a rectangle corner rectangle is there okay plenty of other options also available inside this uh, plotting window down there so slanted rectangles are there which uh, brings up the, the rectangle uh, normal to the initially drawn line and this is a parallelogram you can also go through this uh, multiple options and your practice this is a circle command circle command works uh, first click as a center and then the end of the command is a center circle center and point then it's a concentric concentric brings us brings us like selecting a circle and then second selecting will bring the another circle with the same center point with generate and to end up the command middle scroll button now it's an ellipse as a two high part ellipse so we'll create a long axis first and then the small axis to end up the command and we'll create a ellipse same way you can go through this line continuing the click we can edit this line as per requirement and middle scroll will end up the command text can be created from here by clicking down first and then the top will bring the height of the text and then right over there and press ok it is uh, this text done by you this way the text works the offset command works like offsetting the existing entity by clicking on that entity and placing uh, the dimension suppose I want a 2mm offset from this curvature so I will enter 2 and the arrow denotes the direction of the newly generated curve this is the single and chain option by clicking on the chain you can go through this way and pressing next will select or show you different option you can just watch it this or select the entire sketch will bring a 2m offset of the whole sketch outside so i accept that press 2 for the dimension and you can see this is already created at 2m right so this was about the basic sketching dimensions about dimension there is a dimension available from this step if you want to give a specific dimensions you can generate that by clicking over that entity and middle scroll button will show the dimension this is the radius and if you want to convert that to the diameter right click and then go to convert to diameter it will be due to the convert diameter option now if you want this we'll go further in detail for the sketching in the next video but this is the basic how can we draw uh, for the cryoparametric sketches so for now I will cancel this and will lead on to the how to do the modeling I have pressed ctrl D for the different orientation now I want to extrude this thing alright so pressing extrude and pressing the sketch lock will so the extruded feature of that sketch normally so what we want is uh, shown over here in front side of the plan or flipping that to back side of the plan from here or we need it symmetrically from the plane sketching plan yes we will take it as a symmetric from the sketching plan we'll press 20 will give all dimension of 20 for this 
or either we can change that to a manually by pressing this to either side dimensions suppose I want to have this side 10 mm and we'll select uh, another blind option uh, for the uh, 8 mm so in this way we can um, choose multiple attributes from the same sketch at the same time this option over here will bring that multiple extrude option and this sketching option if we select the sketch option this will so that up to which surface we want to extrude so clicking over here will ask us to select the sketch uh, we want to extrude up to a sketch or entity or any thing that is a plane or reference so we will click on the plane next plane for the reference that is the block front and in the in the option side 2 we will also select the back rear lock rear plane so it will extrude through that selected planes for this entity now clicking on this will end up the extrude command as you can see now if we want to edit that command click on the extrude we have already done right click and go to this or either in older versions of PO is added definition command is there so go for that and clicking on that you will bring up to the previous activity uh, this thing shows the solid extrude and this thing shows the surface creation so this actually does a zero thickness surface as per requirement mm, for now we want a solid this thing so brings us the thickened sketch now clicking on that will extrude as a surface but with a particular thickness if I want that for the 2mm thickness we can do that like this so by pressing over here up front in this we will find that it's a normal so as you can see it's uh, drawn inside of the sketch we can flip that condition by oh, clicking over here it's uh, now outside of the sketch actually two mm now clicking once more will bring it to the center of the sketch for 1 mm either side in total 2 mm so this is the feature I just wanted to show you now right now we are not using this so we will click again to end up that command and go with this solid extrude of the selection plane front and rear lock we end this command over here next is uh, we want to find chamfer onto the edges of the created feature we can do that by clicking on the chamfer command and then clicking on the edge we wanted to and if further we want to select this edges uh, for the chamfer purpose we can continue selecting by pressing down holding down the control key which will create a single set of a uh, chamfer command as you can see this is a set over here if you want a different set then let me show you first this set once for uh, a particular dimension uh, of the chamfer uh, I've selected 45 degrees so it denotes a 45 degree angle with it and 1 mm chamfer now if I click a new set will generate another set with a different dimension so, uh, uh, for that we will go through this uh, OO means it's a symmetrically means uh, whenever we are having a tangent uh, entity we'll bring this activated so let's take it as a 1.5 for this so this is uh, to show it clearly we can click it more further so as you can see it works differently set to having the 6 mm we can click over here to ok that command set to is having a 6 mm 
chamfer and chamfer is having a two ion chamfer, but we don't need the chamfer for this part, so we'll delete it. And uh, same thing can be done with the round. So for the hole, it's a different command. We'll not use that right now, but I can show you how to do it. Is a simple hole command over here. Just clicking on the surface will bring us the two leaders and uh, normal plane that is a hole from where the hole is about to extrude by selecting by dragging that green squares to the respected uh, references that are usually 90 degree references I have selected one plane as a reference the second plane is this as a reference for the hole and it denotes the dimension with respect to that plane we can press zero to have that dimension symmetric to that plane that's and this is another dimension we'll press uh, zero now as you can see the hole is generated in real, real time clicking this little white square will extrude uh, change the extrude of the extrude dimension of the hole and uh, we can also enter the dimension of that hole from here either or we can change the conditions from that for that similarly this is the blind condition this is a symmetric condition that will do either side this side or this side as you can see right so this command is drill up to next surface we'll bring to the next surface is this so it will deal to that and I accidentally cut out of the command by clicking middle scroll button to get onto the command back. We will click over here as we can get it back to this command. And as you can see, this is a through hole command feature. Clicking over there, you will have a through hole. And this is a selected point. Drill to selected point or surface or any reference. So if we select this, will drill up to that surface if you select this plan will drill up to that plan only as a blind hole okay but for now we're not having a hole for this we will be extruding uh, with respect to already drawn sketch so we will select this whole feature and press this button in the keyboard and we'll enter for that execution now pressing extrude and with and pressing the sketch crank we are in the command where for the extrude view is already selected as a remove material in case if it's not on you have to click on this icon to remove material as a hole from that and the hole will be created now we will use a symmetric command for this and use a qualamine right 12 mm of a hole and we can view our condition from here as the, the hole is inside we can see that now what we want is the to remove the material outside of the circle for that you have to change the direction you have to sorry you have to change this arrow direction will show the material to remove so it if direction is inside so internal material will be removed if direction is outside then in outside that uh, material will be removed same can, can be navigated from this uh, toggle button as you can see we'll accept this condition and press ok so this is our finally created part to hide out the planes and axis we'll click over here to edit that and <coughs> this is what we have learned as a basic sketching and uh, modeling for the video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the new video tutorials regarding Clear Parametric 3.0